Shalom Chabrim, I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. We do have breaking stories happening. Everything from uh, new cloned police dogs in Russia uh, to the uh, Brazilian football team that has been killed, many of them, in a Colombian plane crash uh, that happened in the mountains there. Uh, 75 people have died. There's actually six survivors. Two of the survivors are actually part of the Colombian team. Uh, one of those, uh, the name of the survivor is Helio Zampiero uh, Neto, uh, who survived the plane crash. Another one here, uh, and this happened last night, um, or in the night hours. It wasn't too long ago, actually, there. Uh, this guy here also, who was in the uh, crash, is a survivor. Alan uh, Rochelle, a defender of the uh, Chapel Sinise, is reportedly among the survivors and has arrived in the nearby hospital, according to a 360 Radio Columbia. He was taken to a radiology in stable condition. Uh, the Telemundo deportees tweeted that Rochelle was in shock, but was conscious and speaking and that he asked to keep his wedding ring and speak to his family. Uh, our hearts and condolences certainly go, certainly go out to the families of those that have lost loved ones. Uh, BBC is reporting that two reporters uh, were killed on the plane crash as well. Uh, it says a plane carrying Brazilian uh, Chapaconese football team was uh, has crashed in Colombia. Conflicting reports have stated that between five and six uh, of the 81 people on board have survived. Police uh, Director uh, General Jose uh, Asvido Osa has said 75 people died in the crash, six survived. He added that the search has been suspended because there are no more survivors at the site. Uh, that's what he stated thus far there. This is, you can see the photo here, one of the survivors there at the hospital. Uh, does appear to look like that it's uh, this man right here. Uh, that they're speaking about there. So not really sure on who's who at this moment here. Uh, another very strange story, uh, but we know these things have been happening, and that is doggy doubles clone canines to assist Russian police uh, in uh, Siberia. Uh, you heard that right, cloned canines. Three of these guys right here, uh, they have been brought in to assist the uh, Russian police. They are clones. They're supposed to be more muscular, stronger uh, than the regular canines. Makes you wonder if they're cloning dogs. No doubt they've been cloning humans all along as well. And so I'm just wondering what this is really all about. Uh, but uh, we do see here that they have been brought out. All three of these canines are clones. Uh, according to the report here, it says stronger, more muscular, and cloned Russia has received its first lab-produced police dogs from South Korea. The canines were created from the cells of a sniffer dog, but will, will the new arrivals endure the Siberian winter? Three dogs cloned by Dr. Hwang Woo Suk and his team from South Korea, Seoul Biotech Research Foundation, one of the world's leading dog cloning Laboratories arrived in Yakutsk, in the capital of Siberia, uh, Yakutia Republic, on Monday. It says the canines are Belgian uh, Mal uh, Malinois, a breed of a shepherd dog, and were cloned from cells of the South Korea's most revered sniffer dog. The scientists claim the genetic duplicates inherit inherited the adult dog's unique abilities. Um, that's just strange to begin with. We, we definitely see all kinds of strange things happening in the world today. Uh, also, there are fires that have been breaking out now in Tennessee, very much like the fires that have broke out all across Israel. Now Tennessee, as well, is battling wildfires that are just raging across the state in the United States. Uh, we'll be updating you more later this evening, and just wanted to give you this quick broadcast update this morning. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Shalom.